chapter. So, in this chapter, we're going to learn many things related to, uh, you know, uh, energy work, then uh, gravitational potential energy, kinetic energy. Okay, work done. So, most of the things you might be knowing already, you would have gone through uh, these topics before, like kinetic energy, potential energy, all those stuff. Okay, so we are going to add uh, more things here. We are going to do uh, problems based on the topics. Okay, so more often we will be dealing with problems in this chapter. Okay, concepts will be you know very brief, but there will be more chapter, more problems to do, inshallah. Okay, so you need to concentrate on uh, you know how to solve certain problems. Okay, how to do conversion and also how to simplify then get the answer finally. Okay, so we have to concentrate more on these things. Okay, so this is uh, this is the learning objective slide which I made. I took this from your textbook, which is there in the page number. I think okay, just find out what is the page number. Okay, so I don't have the textbook handy. Okay, so okay, let me next, uh, go to the next slide. So next slide is about energy. See, energy generally, you know, energy is the ability to do work, to perform work. See, for example, generally. Uh, we might say sometimes, you know, I don't have energy to do work, I am feeling very tired, you know. Uh, and when you feel tired, you are unable to do any work, you are unable to do job, okay. You take rest, you lie down, or you sit in at one corner, okay, because you have lost your energy. You are not able to, suppose, for example, you are walking suddenly, you are out of energy, you just sit down, okay, you, you drink water, or you take glucose or you eat some you know banana uh, then you get your energy uh, back then you start wa walking okay so energy is the ability to do, do work okay this is a very general sentence which uh, you have to remember with regards to energy okay so if you don't have energy you cannot do work you are you will be unable to perform any job or work whatsoever okay go to the next slide now so the next slide <coughs> gives you an, uh, an idea about uh, the physical term uh, which we are going to learn that is we are going to learn about energy work done in terms of physics okay so this slide is going to give us an idea about that okay see in physics uh, energy work done both are same okay so see just read it on the screen read the text which is there on the screen if you lift if you lift a, he a heavier object you do more work okay that is if you uh, lift a small bag which is just 1 kg okay you have done some work and then if you ha if you lift some other you know uh, for example a rice bag which is you know uh, is heavier than that you know small mug or jug or uh, water bottle which is heavier than that which is almost you know uh, the weight of 25 kg then in physics we say that you have done more work okay this is number one and number two is now if you lift that uh, rice packet or bag whatever it is which is of 25 kg if you lift it further up that is you know through a greater distance for example, you just didn't lift it from the ground, from the floor, but also you, you know, you lifted it, you know, you carried it along the staircase and you brought it to a first floor. Then it will be said that you have done, you know, greater work. You have done more work. Okay, so work done is always described in physics in terms of, you know, uh, the, you know, lifting heavier objects. And also in terms of you know lifting objects through a greater distance okay so there are two things which you need to remember with regards to work done one is you know the force which you apply okay where, where, where when you you know when you lift something the force which you apply okay and also you know the distance through which you you know lifted okay so two, th two things are very very important here okay so the 
the, the force and the distance. So that is why, you know, uh, in physics we have this formula. Work done equals force applied multiplied by distance moved in the direction of the force. So simply it is W uh, multiplied by, sorry, W equals F into D. Okay, it's F into D. Okay, so this is the formula. So work W is always it's measured in joules, force is always measured in newtons, D is always measured in meters. Okay, so this one is very very important. You need to remember this while while, while working problems, while doing sums. Okay, you have to uh, you know follow this uh, system. Okay, this unit system. That is, you have to bring answers only in this units. Bring answers, or you need to do conversion. You have to bring, you know, the, all the figures, the numbers, into this unit. Okay. So, so the next slide says that if the force is measured in newtons, and the distance through which the force is applied is measured in meters, then the work done will be in joules. So this statement is just it's a definition of, you know, work done. Okay, just you just have to remember this. Work done is equal to the amount of energy transport. Okay, so this means that you know work done is just equal to energy. Okay, for example, uh, if I say that someone has done you know one joule of work, okay, one joule of work done has been transferred. If I say this, then I can also say that one joule of energy was also you know performed or used. Okay, so one joule of work done is equal to one joule of energy. Class. Okay, so you might get a question also in the exam. They might ask you. They might ask you in terms of energy. You just have to write the same answer. Okay, for that uh, question. Okay. Okay. So, as I told you, that uh, we do have to just uh, you know uh, learn how to do those problems related to work done. Okay, this is an illustration, and this is taken from your textbook. Example one. Okay, this shows uh, a person lifting up a weight of 500 newtons. He's he's you know trying to lift it up, okay, to a height of two meters. Okay, see he has pulled it up. He has lifted up through a through a distance of two meters. Okay, so now how do we calculate the work done? It's very simple. Use the same formula. W equals five F into D. Okay, then we substitute the values. Force is nothing but the force which the person has applied to lift the weight. Uh, this is uh, the distance, two meters. We substitute and we get the answer. Okay, so this is how we work out the problems. And uh, similarly, we have another question. Okay, uh, an example from your textbook. This is example number two. Okay, so here. Uh, the car is applying a force of 400 newtons. The engine's force is 200 newtons. See, at the same time, uh, air, that is air resistance is also present and it is applying almost the same force of 400 newtons. Now, what happens here is uh, this 400 newtons force of the car's engine and this one, they cancel out each other, okay? And this we call it as resultant force. So the resultant force is zero because they cancel out each other. The resultant force is zero and thus the car doesn't accelerate. It doesn't speed up, but the speed is always constant. Okay, so if uh, if they ask how to work out the work done for this example, for this example, then again, we have to follow the same method, same formula, W equals F into D. Okay, 400 Newtons is the force of the car's engine. Okay, and 30 meters is the distance. Okay, we take this as the distance. Okay, we multiply, then we get the answers in 12,000 joules. If you want to convert it into kilojoules, okay, it is very simple. You divide it with 1,000, you get 12 kilojoules. Why do we have to divide it with 1,000? Because 1 kilojoules equals, you know, 1,000 joules. Okay, so these are a few uh, conversions. Yes, ma. Again, I, I'll put it in a video. Okay, I have. I'm just recording all this stuff. Don't worry. Just. Uh, hmm? you just go through the video. Okay. Then, if you have any doubts, you just tell me. Okay. Because I'm running short of time. You have already. You have joined late.
okay that's okay i'll put the video don't worry inshallah okay next slide again it's a it's a problem it's an example again for you okay so the question is straight direct calculate the work done when a force of 6 newtons moves through a distance of 40 cm okay so again we use the same formula the same formula substitute the values force is 6 newtons distance is 40 cm okay it is in centimeters <coughs> so we have to convert it into meters okay then finally we get the answer okay the second question is somewhat different but you know it is on the same pattern okay let me read the question calculate the work done by a child of weight 300 newtons who climbs up a set of stairs consisting of 12 steps each of height 20 cm okay so the weight of this boy should be taken as a force for example yes okay so the weight of the child should be taken as the force okay and here there is one thing here which we need to uh, you know uh, do certain uh, steps that is the dis for distance we need to multiply this 20 cm with this 12 because he is uh, climbing 12 steps okay so we have need to multiply this distance with 12 okay so this is what is here so we need to multiply uh, this with uh, that is 12 with 20 then we get uh, 2.4 in meters we have to convert okay then we need to use this uh, value to substitute here uh, here okay that is in the distance so 300 uh, newtons multiplied by 2.4 meters so then after multiplication we get the final answer so work equals 720 joules okay then the final example which i have for you is this question let me read the question calculate the work done by a person of mass 20 sorry 80 kg who climbs up a set of stairs consisting of 25 steps each of height 10 cm okay so again we use the same formula but here again we have to do certain steps because uh, here uh, the mass of the person this is this should be taken as the force but it is not in newtons it is in 80 you know that is it is it is in kilograms so this we have to convert it into newtons okay this is conversion number 1 and step number 2 that is again we have to convert this because uh this this one we cannot take it directly as 10 cm because this person is you know he is uh, climbing 25 steps so 10 multiplied by 25 this way 10 divided by, multiplied by 25 cm and finally we get 2.5 m okay sorry not 10 cm see first you multiply 25 into 10 then you get the answer with the no the answer you get you just have to convert it into meters okay so so then use this value that is the force which is 800 newtons <coughs> then 2.5 uh, meters this is your uh, distance okay substitute simplify get the answer any doubts yes that's what boy see if this in this question the force which we need to use it is in 80 kg that is it is in kilograms usually you know it, it is in newtons this value since it is in kilograms we have to convert this into newton this so this is the way how we need to convert khalas okay just multiply with 10 okay and finally yes exactly yes okay as simple as that any any number you get any value you get just multiply with 10 that will be your answer in newtons okay so boys if you have any doubt just go ahead 